you may be asked a question what is the difference between import mode direct query mode or live mode or you may be simply ask a question what are the three different kind of modes or what are the various modes in which we can use data or bring data into power bi so basically there are three kind of mode import mode in import mode what happens is basically you bring in the data and the data is stored on power bi so if it is on desktop it would be stored in the desktop file when you publish it it will be stored on the power bi cloud and you have the data as well as model in the power bi so model and data is all owned by the power bi in that case so using import mode is the best option you need to perform complex data transformation on your data because most of the complex things most of the complex calculation most of the things are supported on import mode then comes the direct query mode now what happens is sometime your data is too large or you need real time data now import mode is limited to let's say 8 refresh for pro and 48 refresh per day for premium it means if you need a data which is more real time then you can opt for direct query mode now sometime the data is too big and you think your database can do a better job it's really powerful and also you will opt for direct query mode so in direct query mode data is not stored in power bi we create a model model is stored with power bi it knows all the relationship measures everything it is known to the power bi model but the calculations and everything what you are doing finally will create a query and that query would be sent to the source data base from the source database we'll get the results and those results would be as real time as your source data set is so if you have created warehouse which is not getting refresh for a day then it is as old as one day before because you are using a data warehouse which is not getting refreshed now using direct query mode is one of the best way to interact with the real time or with large data set you need to make frequent changes so if you are doing a frequent changes then it is really best way but you have to remember direct query mode has quite a few limitation uh, calculated column support is very limited so if you want some calculation across table or within the table across rows those kind of calculations are pretty limited and they have to come from the source data set so while direct query is a great mode to interact but it has limitations over the import mode now third mode is basically live mode very similar to direct query mode but supported on certain data such as power bi data set analysis services now in the live mode the data as well as the model stored with the source model so basically the power bi data set will own the data set as well as the model now you can't change much in the model you can only create few majors in the live query mode now there is an option uh, to use a direct query on such sources like uh, the power bi data set or analysis services so that you get more flexibility but if you are using them in a live mode it's really restricted you can't create new table you can't create uh, the new columns you can only create few majors but live query mode you know because the data set is owned by the source the data is owned by the source the refresh is also owned by the source so it is as good as what is your source refresh frequency is so you can use live mode for that and in power bi as one of the best practices what we do is we create a power bi data set and then we use it using the live query mode and then create the visualization so we try to separate out the model from the visualization by using the power bi data set and in the live mode so that's how we implement now let's quickly have a look at all these things in power bi this is my import mode file now in my import mode file as you can see i have these uh, tables and i can see this data view and in the data view the data do appear here and if i go to the model view which is on the right hand side here the model view and if i click on any of the table let's say the table which i got from the source and scroll down you will see a mode as import mode okay and how do i go get that i simply whenever i say let's say get data let's say take an example of sql server if i say get data i use this import mode now for the direct query i'll use the direct query mode now let me showcase you one file which is on the direct query mode now this is the direct query mode now this is pure and play direct query mode i have not created any import mode table now here you don't see the data view you see the model view one more thing which you can see here and this is important to know when you go to the live query if i click on any of the table i still have the option for new 
table, new column, etc., and new major also. Now, remember this new column and new table uh, before we go to the live query. You can have an import mode table. You can have a mix mode with the the direct query. Now, if you go to the model view and you click on any of the table and you scroll down to the advanced option, you see this is a direct query mode. You can convert it into import mode or dual mode. So this is direct query for you. Now. The model is owned by Power BI. You can create major, you can create tables. So Power BI is owning the model, but not the data. Data would be queried when I ask or when I run a visual or when I ask for it. Now, in case of live query, you again see very similar structure here. Okay, there is model view. So there is a model, there is a relationship and everything is there. But look, when I click on any of the table, I don't have new column and new table here means I can't create it. Okay. And if I go here, if I say transform data, data source setting, it actually asks me to change the data set directly. In others, you will be able to see the properties of the data set. Now, this is using Power BI data set. How I got it, how I got it from get data, Power BI data set. Same way I can use the uh, analysis services model, which I can also use here. Now, if I want to add something additional here, I'll say, let's say Excel workbook, it will ask me a direct query connection is required. So add to a local model I have to do. So these are the difference between import mode, direct query mode and live mode. And you should include these in your answer.